welcome Leo. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth. Um, seven Energies and Energy Oracle Cards. Okay, so Leo, let's get started here. Okay, so three cards for Leo, please, from Soul Truth. Okay. First card, am I communicating my needs? Second card, when was the last time I danced freely? And the third card, how can I deepen my trust right now? Okay, so Leo, am I communicating my needs? Your needs matter. What are you needing right now? What haven't you communicated? Sorry, let me start that again. I just butchered that. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that you are what you are fearing is not true? Okay, so journal these answers, Leo. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes based enough based on my desires? Am I telling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter and do I share them with others? Do I ask for what I want? When communicating my needs, what am I resisting and with whom? What do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs? Okay, Leo. So let's have a look-see here. Your needs matter. Your needs. What are your needs? Tell me more about these needs for Leo, please. Third chakra, Archangel Chamuel. Chamuel. Okay, so this is the solar plexus chakra. Um, so really doing, have a look on YouTube for videos about that um, so that you can clear that chakra because there seems to be a lot um, actually stored in here. Bit of a blockage, I would say. Oh, Leo, look at the bottom of the deck. We've got this Leo card here. Waking the lion. Check that out. Number 19. Okay, anyway. Third chakra. Archangel Chamuel. Tell me more about this, please. Okay. Shining through. Oh, I love this. This is like this is like the light of your life shining through, right? And I just wonder with this um, chakra, the solar plexus here, that, that that's blocked. Hmm. That's blocked, broken open. See, this is this, these blockages being broken open here, right? Actually opening up, you know, and this, if this is to do with your needs here, Leo, um, and you're holding on and you're holding them inside and not expressing and communicating, then you're stifling and you're suppressing really important for you to start communicating clearly okay and journaling that is going to get that out of your mind and onto the paper so it's not going over and over in your mind okay so yeah broken heart so this could be um your needs about what it is that you you need in a to heal your heart, I suppose, right? So what have we got? Willing release and ears wide open. This is about you listening to your heart here, Leo. Because the fact of the matter is that you can you can patch it together here, but it's not completely healed. Um, and, and this is this release, right? Really releasing the heartache, yeah? Willingly so that you can have a transformation in your life that you actually desire because I have a feeling that you try and hold it together so much that it's kind of like it's not working it is not working and it comes out and then you're like <gasps> better not do that and then you push it down again right 
And I just wonder if this broken heart has broken you open. Potentially. When was the last time I danced freely? Dance. Because it will shift you into a beautiful state. Because it will get you out of your head and into your body and heart. Because fear lives in the head, along with anxiety, control, guilt, frustration and impatience. In just a few minutes of dancing, you will make the shift. You will feel a change of joy and confidence take over and you will feel a soul reminder to live and lead from your heart. Dancing is a tool to ground us in the now. It triggers happiness and it is the gateway to freedom. To become free, dance. The action that you need to take here, Leo. Dance for three minutes to your favourite song. Notice the inward fire grow within you and the feeling you feel being you. You are a wild, loving force. Express it with dance today. Love that, Leo. Yes, dance. And dance, you know, shut the curtains, turn out the lights and just let go. Let go. Stop restricting yourself. Okay, so two cards for dance for Leo, please. Tell me more about this for Leo. Wow. First card here, we have hostilities. And this is this. I feel like as soon as I've seen this card jump out, it's like always in this defensive mode, ready to fight right ready to fight you're just there with your sword man and if anyone says anything or does anything you're gonna like chop always there ready that's a really intense way to be like you don't even have you don't even have the helmet on you don't even have a suit of armor on because you've got your sword to just chop anyone out <laughs> right to just chop whatever off no that's it right hostilities and that's it's like that energy always living like that right okay let me just get these okay yep see healing the heart right this is about healing the heart because ultimately what the sword is here for is protection of your heart so that it doesn't get hurt but it gets hurt anyway or you start to feel it niggle and then you go mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Right? And then we have a powerful move. I just kind of wonder, for some of you, Leo, if this is you flying to the top and locking yourself away, flying up, going, no, I'm on top. You're not going to be on top because you've got the king up here, right? It's like always wanting to be on top. I just wonder if it's a protection thing. But what I want to say, though, is with healing the heart, it allows you to open up. It allows you to unlock your heart, to let the, the, the counterpart of your match in without having to be in this defense mode all the time. Right? The fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. This is the throat chakra here. Voicing, voicing your needs. Speaking your, from your heart. Speaking your vulnerabilities. Your pain. Right? Not suppressing it, but speaking it, releasing it. Two cards for fifth chakra here for Leo, please. One more card. Cute. Time machine. And it is what it is. Wow, these are really like going in. This is like, yeah. I just 
just wonder if some of you wish you could go back and undo what is done. For some of you, you may feel like a door shut. A door has shut on you um, and you can't do anything about it. It's, yeah, it's the three and six here. Um, I think it's really important for you right now, Leo, to actually speak. It's important for you to speak what it is that you need. To, yeah, there's a conversation that needs to be had. Um, maybe about something that happened in the past. Um, there could be a conversation that needs to be had about something that happened in the past which is impacting you now. Something that needs releasing. Mm. Yeah, what is this one? How can I deepen my trust right now? And this is it, right? When you, you close off, when you close your heart off, when you don't express your needs and you don't voice those, right? Because this, you know, ultimately is the chakra here, the throat chakra of speaking, saying what you need, right? Especially if you're feeling like a, you heartbroken, you know? Um, and that could be, this could have been going on for ages. This heartbreak could be from way back. You know, this could be that you're in a relationship, you've been in a relationship for years and years and years, and you just continuously have this heartbreak all the time, just hanging there, but you're not expressing it. But you'll certainly, you know, cut someone down as soon as they even attempt to tap into this, right? Hmm. Anyway, sorry, on a tangent. Okay, how can I deepen my trust right now? Okay, Leo, this says trust, surrender. Let go of the wheel. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety. And when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Action. Let go and trust. Today, find your centre in the chaos and be certain with yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Okay, Leo, let's have a look further into this. Alrighty, tell me more about trust for Leo, please. You know, and this could be from a past heartache, a past heartbreak sorry, that you had that you can't open up now and um, that you're finding it hard to and you're feeling like you need to be defensive all the time um, and there's part of you that wants to open up and do that trusting but there's a bigger part of you that goes, oh, well, I can't do that because, you know, I've got to protect myself, right? So, yeah, angel of balance. Oh, I love this. Yes, angel of balance. Yeah, this is really about balancing these emotions out, I feel. Balancing the emotions out. It's a new beginning. A new beginning of being able to communicate clearly your needs, right? Your emotions. Really getting in touch with those emotions. Okay, Leo. And, um, and actually trusting yourself with that. So that you can then in turn trust others. Those around you. Because when you're communicating clearly and communicating your needs, other people know what's going on. Okay, and that's really important. And I think the other thing in turn is for you to, um, you know, it's, it's a reciprocal relationship, right? Where then you're listening to others and their needs and actually hearing what they're saying. And it's, um, yeah, it's reciprocated. Okay, so Angel of Balance. Tell me more about this Angel of Balance for Leo, please. <clears throat> two cards 
The roses kiss. Yep. Things hurt, man. Things hurt. Right? You get pricked by the thorn and the rose, but the rose itself is absolutely beautiful. And there are things along the way that are going to prick us, that are going to trigger us. Um, and But ultimately, it's really focusing on the beauty of, of what can be growing. Okay? Um, endless possibilities. Yeah, see? And this is it. When you make that connection, the possibilities are endless. Okay? But when you focus upon the thorns you're limiting yourself to what it is that can be created and achieved okay so the next card we have here is strategy so this i feel like is writing down journal log so this could actually be going through past um situations past relationships whatever you know these could be love relationships friendships whatever where it hasn't worked out and going through a journal log not writing down about what the other person did but about you being completely and honest with yourself about your contribution to things and see if there's a pattern going on there right the other thing i want to say about this is coming up with a strategy um in a relationship so that um, you know, you know that, you know, you've got something solid in place in order to avoid this happening, right, as much as possible, because this could help to build the trust, right, to go, okay, so when this happens, this is what I need, the other person's saying, this is what I need, everyone's clear on the needs, circumstances are always going to change and it's going to look different every time it's not exactly going to play out in that scenario right but you might have something to go by some ground rules to say that when this is happening this might be the best thing to do right so that then you can fully relax and not be on the defense all the time and have this hostility sitting there ready to chop right One more card for strategy, please. Okay. Okay, so we have a burst of magic. We have a merry motive. I love that. A merry motive. I love that. That's so cool, man. What's your motive? It's merry. It's pretty merry. Merry Christmas. Um, anyway, sorry, 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 sorry. Yep, burst of magic. Let's start with that first. I've actually no, because I feel like these two are together because they're both sort of rising up, right? Rising up. This is like birthing something new out of the strategy, is birthing a new way of doing things, yeah. So that you can make magic happen. It's about doing things differently so that it works for all parties involved right and then we have a result of that is this beautiful uncaging of the heart right unlocking that heart and uncaging it yeah being safe enough feeling safe enough to be vulnerable um to let your heart actually feel the love that is there um yeah yeah I feel like, Leo, this is going to really help you to progress forward in your life, okay? So um, in your relationships and your friendships and everything else, you know, so in that regard, I think, um, you know, doing these things ultimately is doing them for you, not other people. It's doing them so that you can live that fulfilled life that you want to live, so that you can open up in the way that you would like to open up and have that um continue to grow in a magic way right so that you're you have a merry motive yeah so yeah okay leo i'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful self see you bye bye